Fellas, today we're looking at developing the formal algorithm for multiplication. If that scares you a little bit, just remember, the word algorithm just means a formal and proper mathematical way of setting out a problem. So if you have a look on this screen here, you can see I'm multiplying 580 multiplied by 4, and I've just set out exactly how it appears in your Stepping Stones book. It's really important. I know that when some of you might open this page and see that it's spread into hundreds, tens and ones, you might think, oh boy, we're going back and doing this. And I know it feels like a little bit of a step backwards. And I know some of you are already awesome at using the algorithm, but I just want to make sure we're all doing the exact same thing, setting it out the exact same way. Because when we start looking at more difficult problems, if you aren't doing it perfectly, life will be very, very, very difficult for you. So I want to go over what I would expect when we're working through multiplication problems on our test or in our books. I would obviously expect to see it set out as beautifully as I've done this one here. You do not need to draw up the hundreds, tens and ones. They are just a guide for you. But you need to have clearly separated your numbers into their place value. If you stuff that up, like I said, you'll make mistakes even though you don't mean to. Now, when you're multiplying, we always start from the ones and we would do four multiplied by zero. That's in my ones column. I'm writing the answer in my ones column. It is zero. When we move over to the tens, I do four multiplied by eight tens. Four multiplied by eight is 32 tens. My two goes down there. My three carries along to up here. When I move on to my hundreds, I do four multiplied by five hundreds. Four multiplied by five is 20. So it's 20 hundreds. Add three. 20, three hundreds. 580 multiplied by four is 2,320. It's fairly simple to do. It's hard to make a mistake when it's set out so beautifully for you. If we're on a test and you're just given it and you're given blank space to work out, I would expect to see people working pretty similarly to this. So I'm just going to pick one from your book that I can see here. We've got 309 multiplied by 8. If that's all you're given on a test and then you're given all this space to do your working out, you need to be super careful. Set it out nice and neatly. You're working with a pencil. You should be able to do better than me on my screen. 309 multiplied by 8. I haven't included my place value, but I can clearly see where my hundreds, where my tens, and where my ones are. 8 multiplied by 9 is 72. My 2 goes down. My 7 comes over here. 8 multiplied by 0 tens is 0 tens, plus 7 tens, because it's in the tens column, is 7 tens. 8 multiplied by 3 hundreds is going to be 24 hundredths. 309 multiplied by 8 is 2,472. This is called, remember, the formal algorithm. This is the way you need to be setting it out. It needs to be neat. It needs to be beautiful. If your handwriting is perfect, if you're careful, I will be able to see where you've gone wrong if you make a mistake. That could be really, really helpful on your test if I'm looking to give you half a mark for your working out, even if the answer's wrong. Please be careful. I'm looking for absolutely wonderful setting out. Good luck.